Yeah, in this screencast, I just want to go over how to uh, use the icons feature on the BA2 plus calculator. So here's the example. Assume you're given a choice between a term deposit of 7.2%, and so that 7.2% would be the nominal rate of interest, compounded monthly, so the CY would be 12, or one paying 7.25%. We want to get the effective rate of interest so that we can compare the two. There are different nominal rates of interest and the compounding is differently. So it's quite hard to tell what to do. So here's the BA2 plus calculator. Go, so go second, clear TVM. Make sure you do that regularly. Second, quit. We don't want anything left behind in the memory. Go to second icons here at the bottom then it asks us to put in the nominal rate so the nominal rate let's put in 7.2 enter now key down and uh, it's asking us for the how often it's compounded so 12 enter then down and asking us for the nominal rate I've just done this so it's going to be the same so you go to compute and it will be the effective rate of interest. So write that down. 7.44 is the effective rate of interest of 7.2% compounded monthly. Now let's try the other one. 7.25% compounded semi-annually. So go down to nominal and put in 7.25. Enter. Now we want to put in the compounding and it's semi-annually, so we would put in 2, enter, down, and now we want to go to compute the effective rate of interest. The one before was 7.44. Let's find out about this one. Go to compute, and it's 7.38, 7.38. So the first one would be preferable, wouldn't it, because it has a higher effective rate of interest, 7.44 compared to 7.38. Thank you.